Next. Hello. Uh, yeah. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Elvis. Hello. Every time I say that, it makes a noise like a bird. <laughs> Hello. See? I don't hear it. Okay, let me see if this works now. Maybe I have my volume too loud. Sorry, ladies. I've been having problems with my, with my printer right now. And so maybe... Turn, turn it off. Turn it off. You turn dropped it. a bum on me, baby. <laughs> bum on me. Well, good morning, Ken, Miss Tenson. I did. I told you I got a, a new pair of cool lights for my birthday. Hey, Gail. Okay, we're soft. Close. Close. How to. How okay. to. Okay. We're done. Oh, I already fixed it. Oh Uh-oh. Tomorrow's here early. It's not 10 till 9, girl. Tomorrow, didn't you work? Close. Culottes. Culottes. You solved the problem. All oh, these these guys. I was gonna turn it off and turn it back on. <laughs> hey, CJ. CJ has retired at seventy three. She is free. Woo! Woo! Hey, Nancy. Free, free at last. Tomorrow's taking a break. Carol's not. She's here. Dang. She took full advantage of full Social Security, didn't she? Yeah. Hey, Adria. Yeah, but I think it's what, over 60? 70. 70. What? What? It changed it? Oh, okay. And then I heard somebody say yesterday, I'm sorry, but retirement age is too young. You People have all this retirement time, and it's breaking our Social Security budget. Oh, no. What are you supposed to do? Be on crutches and work? Oh, let me see if it works now. Hold on. Unless then... you're Benjamin Buttons, then you'll be in diaper. And well, you could be in diapers, too. <laughs> All right. Let me see if this is going to work, guys. Mm -mm. Oh, crash your legs. <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, Dale. Oh, it sounds good. Sounds like it's printing. Oh, yeah. excuse me, Deli. Hello, Deli. <laughs> oh, and look, Gelly says hi, Deli. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So let me see if this works. Print it. That'll be my last print. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, it's Gail, not Gailly. <laughs> Cinderella, Cinderella, dressed in yellow, Cinderella. And now I have to go get my drink because my throat's very dry. Oh, okay. Gail, A sound, Dale, soft E sound. Like I can enunciate. That's like. If I need to sign a document, somebody needs to hand me a pen. <laughs> a pen? A pen. Okay. Not a pen. Excuse me, may I, may I borrow your pen, please? Well, I thought you were good at spelling. Why can't you be good at, at you know, pronouncing the words the way they, you know, the way I'm they excellent spell. at spelling, but I'm not so good at enunciating. <laughs> but... If you have to hear the word, like if you're the spelling bee, and they say the word. I say, can you please use that in a sentence? How do you spell that correctly if you don't even know how the word is pronounced? Because I'm speaking it in my mind, and I'm seeing it, and I'm spelling it off of the chalkboard in my head. A lot of things going on in that head, I can tell. That's right. <laughs> Oh, my goodness, people. How has your week been? I've got many stories to tell. Hey, 
Carl. <sighs> Bottom line is I've actually done hardly nothing. Um, I think when last we were together, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, um, one of the things I told you that Sammy was slowing down. Did I tell you guys that? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay. So over the weekend, it really got bad. And I guess it was Saturday night. Well, we had already scheduled, you know, they do that annual wellness check for the dogs, you know, and they give them their shots and all that kind of stuff. So he was already um, going to go there Tuesday, um, yesterday. And, um, but then over the weekend, he was very disoriented. He was pacing. He was panting. Um, you could tell he couldn't get comfortable. By Sunday, he wasn't eating and blah, 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 blah. Well, we've had him 12 years and he was a rescue dog. And um, we don't know how old he is. So my husband and I we had a long conversation on Monday. And we said it really resembles our other dog when they're vital organs were just starting to shut down it, it was acting the same way and you know he's a garbage disposal he eats everything and he would not eat nothing so anyway so we take him in on tuesday my husband and i had already agreed if they said things were shutting down we were going to put him down so we go there and um they do a full work up a blood test of everything that can let you know what's going on and she says uh this guy is pretty healthy he has no liver failure he has no this no that he's not diabetic i mean across the board he was negative totally across the board so all she could figure well she did figure out afterwards um we told her um you know that he was look, feeling like he was arthritic and so she examined all his body and she says well yeah it's obvious he's got a little bit of arthritis and he might be in you know discomfort but what she found out was that on his, see, his right eye, he is totally blind. And on his left eye, it's really, really bad. It might have come on kind of quickly, I think. Now looking back, it's been happening like maybe the past three, four months where if we're walking past and we would just graze his body or his ear or something, he'd go, yep like that you know so it was startling him and um anyway so she said a combination of you know the being disoriented he may have lost the sight real fast you know um really disoriented him and he says and it can literally just depress them just like it would depress a person if you went deaf or blind or something and you couple that with his um discomfort from his arthritis you know, he just is kind of like, kind of lost, you know. So she recommended, okay, she gave us some some stuff um, um, for his arthritis and inflammation and stuff. And then gave him, gave us a appetite, um, what's the opposite of suppressant? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> to make him hungry and um, and sent him home, you know. So we get home and, you know, we've been offering him food for three days and he won't eat. So we get home and she had sent a, a can of dog food um, with, with us back. And, um, and we gave him a tiny bit. And the day before, even with like real meat, he would just turn his face. He wouldn't touch it or anything. And he started to nibble it, you know. And I looked at my husband and I said, this crazy dog. He made us pay three hundred dollars <laughs> for a visit, plus all of the blood workup, plus the medication, and we come home before we could even give him the pill to make him eat. He started eating, so we called him up right away, and they said, "Well, you know, he probably just got like stimulated from going out and coming back, and it made him kind of forget about you know his aches and pains and all his worries and everything, just like a regular person needs a diversion from their depression or whatever." So she said, "Continue to give him, you know, the medication to help him, you know, develop 
his appetite and of course the stuff for the arthritis and all that kind of stuff so um he's been um his favorite thing though to eat has always been anything that has to do with milk or something he loves greek yogurt plain greek yogurt he loves sour cream and he loves cream cheese <laughs> So she goes, give him all that he wants. It's all protein. She goes, that's fine. That's good for his stomach too. So between that and, you know, he's, he's nibbling here and there. And so he's, you know, he's doing better. So now we're just puppy pro. Well, we've had that on our other dog before that we no longer have. Um, but um, um, so um, what was I going to say? Oh, okay. I went blank. I got excited with the Prozac. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, so he's uh, he's he's eating a little bit more today, and um, he wanted to be outside more. So, oh, I, I know what I was gonna say. So now, when he approaches us or we approach him, we make sure we talk to him way in advance of getting close to him, so he knows that we're coming. And if he's I notice he's coming our way or something, we'll talk to him, and we make sure we get on the side that he can see us, you know, so he doesn't get really startled. And we don't, you know, come up to him real quickly. We do everything kind of in slow motion so that he doesn't get startled. He seems to be a whole, um, doing a whole lot better, you know. So, so here we were, I told the doctor, here we were, we brought other, do other dogs to the vet thinking it was something simple. And we turns out that I have a big giant tumorous cancer. And we have to put him down right then and there with no preparation i said this time we come prepared okay he's old you know he's got something really really wrong with him and we're gonna have to put him down and no we just have to bring him home and be a psychiatrist for him for a while <laughs> so so it was kind of the roller coaster you know with that um my hand Hi, is Landa. hey Landa. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I went on my tangent. I had to finish my whole story or I'd forget. I even forgot when I broke in for the Prozac. Okay, go for it, Susan. It's all yours. Hi, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll get used to his lost vision. It just, we need to help him. You know, we weren't helping by just treating him normal you know, and startling him and then he would get depressed and everything. So now when we let him out, I mean, he knows the path. He can see enough. The doctor says she, he can, during the day, he can see, you know, blobs and, you know, images out of that one eye. Um, and he knows the yard. He can smell it. He's a dog. You know, he knows where to go and how to get there and everything. But um, um, when it just comes to approaching us, we need to, um, you know, just be mindful and don't rush him. Don't rush him. Hey, Leslie. Dang, Annie Mame, you're early. Woohoo. And you're and you're here. <laughs> wow. I guess you'd have to be here if she was early. Kind of goes hand in hand. Well, I didn't know when she was getting but back she from her trip. I was gonna say, is she here here? Is she home? That's what I said. Oh, never mind. I'm late to the party. Oh my goodness. So, um, so in the middle of all that, I've been moaning and groaning about my hand because it's feeling, I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's weird. It's, um, it's weird because it was just the tips. Now it's my whole fingers, these three right here and the tip of my thumb. My little finger is the only one that's normal. She hasn't left yet. Oh, how did we get that messed up? He said, oh, I am yeah. home. Haven't left for my vacation yet. That's next week. I was traveling for work. Oh, well, we knew you were here. We thought you were off having fun. Oh, Leslie no. said she had two dogs go blind and they did just fine after the initial few months. Yeah. I, I think Jack went blind too because he's like walking around like, where am I at? Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, because what, what Sam would do it was so funny. That's when we thought he was like sick or getting senile or something. He'd walk out on the ramp, halfway down the ramp, and then he'd just stop 
And in my mind, it was like he forgot what he was doing. You know, he would stand there and kind of like real stiffly kind of move one way or the other. And I told Richard, I think he's going to see now. He forgot why he was going down the ramp. No, he got startled because he couldn't see nothing. He was like a little disoriented because he couldn't see. So so now, we, you know, we walk him down to the end of the ramp where there's like one little step down there. And then once he's in the grass, we just leave him because he smells. And they've all got a path everywhere. They take the same path throughout the whole yard. So he's fine that way. I told the doctor he can still see a silhouette of a squirrel. That's for sure. He went <laughs> down the side of the fence for a squirrel. Because, yeah, well, he probably halfway saw it and could smell it, you know. So that was that. Okay, so then, okay, I've got, I, my mind, I think because my hand's bugging me so much, I can't stay concentrated on one thing. I keep bouncing, you know, from one thing to another. I guess it helps me get distracted or something. So I got, I didn't do really anything. Well, hardly anything. I did a little planning that I didn't do like physical stuff with the little house drums because I have some definite plans of what I'm going to do with these, but my hand wasn't up to it because it involves um, drilling a lot of holes. <laughs> so, so that will probably be next week. I'll tackle these. But I think, did I show you some of the... The little signatures that are going in there. I think I did. I don't know. No. Okay. Well, these, um, I found this really cool pictures. And um, so I'm going to print some of them off in black and white. And then some will be, you know, in their original color. And then in the black and white ones, what I'll do is I'm going to come back and just do the roofs in the red like these are. To try and kind of make them look like, you know, like they belong. So those are some of the, um, oopsie. Those are some of the stuff that'll go. I just thought they're very whimsical looking. And they kind of cover all seasons. She can't, she don't ever remember when you ask her. What's that? Where you got them. Yeah, I'll have to look it up for you guys. I don't remember if I can even find it. I never, I don't file them. I've had these quite a while. I don't file them under the name of the who I buy them from. Elvis, your dog wasn't blind. He was horny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know. I do I not. Say, I can't believe you'd even say what. I don't even she want said. to know. It's a scary thing, though, when Susan knows when a dog's horny and the what owner's is that? Horny. I mean, that is a sad day, but we when won't my <laughs> She said, move, Charlie. When my dog went, when my poodle went blind, he would latch himself to my leg like a koala bear around a tree. That's how he got around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh what's wrong with your dog is your dog blind <laughs> him off my leg <laughs> so i printed these also in little small ones like little cards you can see the pictures more complete there um they're really cute little I'll see if I can figure out where they came from. See how cute they are. <clears throat> and I like how they're very impressionistic and there's lines through them and it looks like they're torn up and some look like they're collages, some look like they're painted. But anyway, in um in full pages, this is what will be in the, not every single picture, but some of them will be in the, in the book. So that's, that's that. And then I printed some, 
I printed some in the black and white. Oh, yeah. So I did some of these. And these are the ones I'm going to put some red on them. And put them in the book to kind of mimic the cover. So I'll do that. <clears throat> okay. So that's that plan. That's how that one's going. So at least I've been like, you know. Maybe not literally the journal together, but I've got the pieces, parts, and the plan. That, to me, is the hardest part, you know, figuring out what and the plan and the actual doing. And that, that goes pretty quick once you've got the other part figured out. Um, so that's that. Let's put that over there. Then I've been having this thing in my mind. It's... um. I don't know what to call it. I think maybe we'll, I'll, I know I, it'll be late, but I think I'll put a kit together for this one for next month. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to call it. It's not, it's not a scavenger one in the sense like most people consider a scavenger hunt. But like when I go in my shop here, I, I call myself, I, I mean, I refer to it as going shopping, you know, in my own in my own place here because I got stuff instead of shopping. I just look around and I pretend I'm shopping here. So this one, I, I, I envisioned like, you know how you might find an old trunk or a box or something. And there's just a little bit of everything. Everything just been thrown in there. And when you're looking through it, it's almost like a scavenger hunt, you know? Um, and then I, when I think of that, I think of all, obviously, I think of rusty stuff and I think of metal things and, you know, just fun stuff to put in there. So similar to uh, the construction of when we made the, um, the, um, the mugshot one, remember how we kind of made that kind of a boxy kind of sort of like a. <laughs> a little bit like a lap book kind of thing. Yep. Um, so that was mainly how we constructed. We used um, three pieces and put them together and, and whatever size, you know, we wanted to do the binding. I mean, the um, spine, I think this ended up being like two and a half or something. But again, you know, depending on what you're going to do, Oh, two and a half. Oh yeah. Yeah, two and a half. Um, so I used uh, this is one one book, the front and the cover. I did not have another book that was the same size, so I got some the chipboard and doubled it, and it was the exact thickness of the book. So that's how I did that. But you guys that have been around, you know that's what we did with the um the mugshot one. So it was like that. And then on the front, I made it to me. I, what I was trying to go for was sort of like a locker. Um, I was fixing to say it looks like an AC vent in a, tra in a trailer floor. <laughs> I guess it could be that too. <laughs> um, and so once I get it decorated, you know, it you can put things in here. Um, into all of the little little places these are a little big for that but you get the idea uh, have to, things would have to be smaller I'll just put it further down and pictures or whatever it is that you end up finding in your thing right so that is sort of um, sort of like that and then you know you would Open it up, and I've got a few things. Where are they? What did I do? What did I do? Started putting a few things together. Did I or did I not? Oh, yeah, I did. So I'm going to make... Um, I'm going to make a pocket that'll... If you remember... How we did the other one, I have to put another something in there. I got them around somewhere. And then I'll put some gussets. And so that will be some places to put stuff in there. Uh, where are those pieces? 
I'll find them. That's what happens when you put things away. Oh, here we go. The back part. I'm not sure which side I'm going to use. I don't know. I'll decide that later. There you go. Shop your stash journal. It could be an ephemera keeper. There you go. So this will have some gussets here. So that will allow for that. And then, then it'll open up like that. And then we'll put, um, I'm thinking, I'm not sure how it'll fit. Uh-oh. I want cardboard. Here we are. That's what I was printing before we went on. Um, Size-wise. Uh, so if we put um, some kind of a, like, I think, I think on the mugshot one, we had like three pockets here on the back. I have to double check the video. I think we have three. Well, it doesn't really matter. But you can put three, four. You can put as many as you want. But I was thinking like if we took, if it was just a piece of maybe about that size, I layered them on top one, two, and three, something like that, and then put one of these drawers on each one, that would look kind of cool. So it looked like it was something that you could pull out. Hey, Lucy. Um, so that's one of the things we could do there. So that would go kind of like there. And then Elvis said the Dark Shadows journal is still her favorite because of how it's put together. Sort of started out like this. You know, I don't remember what it ended up looking like. I had to see, I had to go back and look at my stuff because I'm telling you, I'm I just forget. Because I'm on to the next. So so these would go sort of like here and I'd put a little doodad, and then this would open, and we'd have other stuff in here. And then I've got some pages. And then, like, here would be where we'd have a journal. The journal would be here, and we'd have a journal here. So we'd have two journals, and then all of this space to fill up in, oops, to fill up in here 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 and here and there <laughs> oh i know i like it <laughs> hey j mac and whoever likes it well we can make it together whoever doesn't well see you next month i mean next month next month <laughs> But uh, but it leaves you it leaves it open for you to literally put anything you like in there, you know, inside of what I would call the drawers and anything. If whatever you collect, if you collect buttons, you could put pictures of buttons in all of this stuff. Um, anything, anything, anything. That's what I say. So what do you guys think? Who wants to It's going to be awesome. Who wants to play? <clears throat> and then what I did with these, um, they were brown. And um, I just put um, some more brown, raw, real cheap, you know, real cheapy paint, dark brown, uh, raw sienna. Or was it burnt sienna? I got to go double check. And then a little bit of, you know, any kind of a turquoise color. It'll work. We'll go over that together. Annie Main said it's a little bit like a curiosity cabinet. <clears throat> Linda said the cover is cool. Gail said it looks good. Carol really likes. Elvis said pretty darn cool. Pretty darn. Annie Max is late. But your <laughs> stuff is always fun. Annie Main likes the AC vent. <laughs> yeah, it does look like that, doesn't it? It wasn't supposed to. Didn't but... he started yet, Carol? I guess this is her proto type. Yeah. Um, I hadn't. Yeah, I hadn't been like inspired to make a 
a kit like well since january and it's kind of i just kind of like i go wait i want to do this and i had found some really cool stuff anyway so that's what we're gonna do um i'll put the um now that i don't have to be worrying about my dog because i was very distracted about him and i can handle my hand i couldn't handle being distracted by my dog <laughs> so so um i'll put these together the kit together and i'll show it to you guys as soon as i get there um hopefully you know before the weekend or maybe during the weekend <coughs> it'll be done <coughs> so just a heads up what we're gonna do and heads up find yourself either two books the same size i i didn't have two the same size unfortunately um because you'll need it for the front the front and the back and then the flip floppy one um you know you need work for that if you do not have two books the same size did not and you build this up with some cardboard Oh, actually, you can build the whole thing up with cardboard if you don't have a, a book that you like the size of. Um, the size I'm working with, in case you like the size that mine is. This is uh, about nine and a quarter by <clears throat> nine and a quarter by six and a quarter so anywhere around there it'll work well obviously the width needs to be the width of these because i'm going to send you these uh, these are five so it has to be at least five inches else that won't fit mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I have a bunch of these cool things. Anyway, you'll, you'll see when I get it all put together. Once I get it all together. Let me put this back in before I start losing stuff. Because I will lose stuff. You know that. What are the slot thingies? What are the slot thingies? Mm -hmm. Are they that Tim Holtz die, or are they just something that you have? Oh, no. It's something that I found at the hardware store. AC vent covers. <laughs> no, they're not. But they do look like it. Yep. They honestly do, now that you say it. Okay, so I'm going to find a little bag to put. Do I have a little bag here to put all that in? No, I don't. I don't think so. I got to go get one to put all these. Or maybe we'll play with them for a little while. Let's see. Let's see what we do. Because um, I have. Oh, here they are. This. I'm going to do some sewing around. Um, around these that's why i haven't put the gussets yet i want to do some sewing on all of these and then i'll put the gussets so those are ready to go and it took me like i'm not exaggerating it took me like ugh, hours and hours i mean i would do it a little bit and then i would stop and do it a little bit to cut all these out that that was crazy i don't know why i cut so many out it was like distracting and so i just kept <laughs> you need a scan and cut you know i probably commit suicide trying to make it run trying to figure out how to use it you know me can't follow actions to get anything done oh i didn't do that one too well did i i didn't cut that one did i only thing i hate about the scan and cut is whenever you <clears throat> your paper in there with what you're going to cut out uh-huh you you put it in and it scans it and it remembers and then it goes back and it cuts it okay well if you don't 
cut the same thing again or if you don't hit clear uh oh then the next thing you stick in there will cut out from what it scanned in the previous cutout oh no well i can see how that would be frustrating okay heck no annie Mame. that's a dangerous way to eat some salmon hey where my i lost two pieces uh-oh did i i don't know i'll just put those in there but yeah so i was figuring out okay what am i going to do tonight because my um i can't feel my fingers tonight <laughs> It's a little hard to do stuff. You can't feel your fingers. But what I could do a little bit, I could paint some of those tops of those little houses. That should be easy until I can feel my fingers. That's an option. And it's something we've been working on together. Oh, I was going to get a little, little something to put that in, wasn't I? Yes, I was. Hey, Allie. Now, what would that be? Ooh, let's see. Let's just put it in an envelope. Let's just put them in an envelope. And regular. A regular envelope. Oh, and then, oh, I was wondering why, yeah, another reason why I was... My hand got all messed up. I had to do, I can't even tell you how many batches of eco printing I had to do because I had a bunch of orders and I had to get those all done. I was running low. So it was like I was doing that all weekend. Normally it's fun, but it's not fun when your hand's not cooperating. And then in the middle of it all, I got attacked by ants. I don't know why they. And all they were doing was going into the sink where there was water. They just, <coughs> it's like they came in just to drink water. They're thirsty. <coughs> it's wet outside. It's been raining a couple of days before. I don't know. They were all over the place. <coughs> that wasn't fun get rid of all those ants and i looked there a few minutes ago and they're back <coughs> so get you some boric acid and sugar boric acid and sugar mm -hmm. huh <clears throat> but doesn't the sugar attract them i don't want to attract more if they're there it's going to attract them to the boric acid that will kill them oh okay it's not going to like go out on the front porch and sprinkle little sugar crystals all in the area and advertise that there's a sugar bowl inside. Yeah, but you know, they, they go out and they tell everybody, hey, the sugar. <laughs> they won't go eat. out. <laughs> oh, it's like the little trap. They go in, but they don't come out. I get it. I get it. I see. Okay, let's see some of these little red things and see if I can get if I can get through that for a little while. I just get all the black and white and see what I'm gonna do. Oops, that's not black and white. That's right. And Gail said if they do take it back to the mound or whatever it's called or the nest, then it will kill them too. Well, there you go. Their heads off with all of them. Betty sends our aunts home with high price gain detergent powder to wash their laundry with that works yes 
Okay, so these, I separate the cardstock from just the thicker paper. I still have to write out my um my little information and direction kind of thing from my workshop. I got a mental block about it. <laughs> I can't think of where to start. But you know, they it's gonna be what I'm gonna be telling them, but people like to to go home with a little handout of some kind that because you know. Too much info. You don't remember half the stuff you're told. I tried to find one online and just print it out and give them credit for it. <laughs> I can't find one that isn't like too much information. Stuff we aren't even covering. So I guess I will have to write one out. I'm not very good at that. I need a secretary. Let me dictate to this to you. You type it out for me. Okay, so, oh, wait, oh, no, that's not. Okay. Alrighty. Where is, where's my red? Where's my red, people? And I'm just gonna, I wish, I don't know, if I use watercolor, when I go and glue any of this down, it might, psst, you know, It might activate my watercolor. So I guess I have to use acrylic. I'll just water it down a lot. Oh, and here's the little, the little things that I, you know, to hold down the, the metal. I painted those up too to make it look a little bit, a little rusty. Okay, let me find just plain old acrylic red paint. We can do that. We can do that. Leslie said she can do that for you, Rosemary. Uh oh, hello. How do we do that? Can you dic can you dictate into your phone? Um, uh, maybe. Or you could make a private video and send it to Leslie. Oh, there you go. Oh. Man, there are so many colors of red. You are such a princess brat. Who? We had this, this, um, I guess it's like a, a mattress. I don't know. It's like a mattress pad, but it's about two and a half inches thick. Mm-hmm. So you can put it on your bed if your bed's not comfortable. Well, we had it a long time ago. And when Caden was here, he wanted to sleep on that on the floor. So we had it rolled up and we moved it. And Betty put it on the, she folded it up. Well, she tried to fold it up, rolled it up and laid it on the couch and put a giant blanket on it till she could come back and get it. She came back and Heidi was up on top of that mountain. <laughs> Lay in there like the princess, and then when she gets down, Sophie gets up there, and then <laughs> they get up there together. <laughs> and they, so we've just let them do it. So they've been doing that for two days. They take turns. 
being <laughs> way up on this big giant bed on the couch above everybody else. Nancy said if for some reason Leslie cannot, she can. Oh, wow. Thank you guys so much. I ain't doing it. Okay. Notice I didn't ask you to. I ain't doing it. <laughs> like I told William yesterday, I said, you're such a good secretary. <laughs> Let me try it on a big one first. A big roof. Big roof. I don't even know if this if my idea is gonna work, so we'll find out together. Might be too bright. I might have to dumb it down a little. Remember those those coloring books you used to get and you, all you had to have was a wet paintbrush? Yeah. I wonder how they did that. Freeze dried the. Um, it's 7.46. Where's Ann? She should uh -oh. be here by now. Oh, that resembles it. What? That's what I was going for. It kind of resembles. Oh, that's all full of wax, but. Uh, okay. I think this will work. No, she's still whining, J-Mac. Uh-oh. What is black and white and red all over? Did nobody ask you nothing? <laughs> How rude. What was the one she that she that she couldn't get? What was it? What are we talking about? That one that you got and Betty didn't. I don't remember. I don't either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's 30 cows in the field and 28 chickens. How many? <laughs> Okay, so Leslie said a newspaper. Lucy said a newspaper. Annie Mayim said a penguin running into a machete. She, which she just. <laughs> Allie said a skunk with diaper rash. <laughs> Annie Mayim, we need to talk. Oh no. Maybe she's repeating an old Turkish proverb or something. I ain't never seen no black and white frog, Carla. Frog in a blender. <laughs> You're not going to eat? Oh, my God. What did she make you? Um, she made me um, a homemade chicken noodle soup. Mmm. Yeah, it is. Go eat. Go slurp it up. Enjoy I already yourself. ate. She didn't eat. Oh. So that joke won't be any good 20 years from now. The what? That joke won't be any good 20 years from now. Oh, okay. Because kids will be going, what's the newspaper? Yeah, exactly. They don't know now. What are you talking about? This looks cute, guys. 
go print yourself out some black and whites and then highlight it with one color. You know my favorite. You know my favorite three colors. Hey, APJ. Okay, what happened to my other? <clears throat> Did it roll off? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, my eye is stinging. Hold on, I gotta wipe my eyes off. Oh no. Lucy said she went to a guy's house on Monday who had some old books of newspaper for sale. Hey, Brenda. Oh, no. And did you buy? Because um, her favorite thing, Carol, is black and white with a splash of red. Yeah. And there's like little plants up here. I don't know what they are, but they're apples now. Pretty giant apples, but. Or just red blossoms. I'm not sure what they are, but the rest of the plant's dead, but the hey, red Jean. the red has survived. Mm hmm I like this guys. She bought three newspaper books and four punched books to share with her sister. Three books at 50 pounds a piece. Oh, I like this, guys. Sometimes he said, no, let the roof be red as a focus. No, what? I don't know. Oh, she didn't want me to do the plants. Too late. Oh. I already did the trees. Red? I just put little spots that they have the blossom of some kind. If they don't have no leaves, how are they going to have blossoms? Because it's my picture. Oh. Uh-huh. They do in my picture. See, can you see that? I don't know if it's blurry or, or not. But. Could be blood drops. Well, yes, it could be. Lucy, what area? Lucy's in Canada, so I guess it was in Canada, Nancy. Oh, what area were the newspapers from? Excuse me. I'll just stay out of y'all's conversation. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you try to clarify. <laughs> it just doesn't pay sometimes. Oh, and there's flowers down here too. I think the I think those were they were buds to the flowers, and the wind came, knocked off all the leaves. And just left a couple of the flowers. I'm going with that story. No. It was for me. No wind. There was wind. Lots of wind. So where did the pictures come from? The same creepy website as the covers? Um, a good question. Oh, my God. Oh, no. They're... No, they're the they were the ones I showed you in color. So if I just did them in black and white, I understand. But where they come from? I don't know. I okay, have, I that's all I needed know. to know. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me these questions. I just wonder because they looked sim similarly. Yeah, yeah. I people say that similarly. Yeah. Don't know why. Okay. Similar. Similar. I can't say the word, and I'm going to have to say it many times on that Saturday. Mordented. I can't say mordented. Mordented. <laughs> Why does it have tense. an ED on it? Well, it's a past tense of mordant. So okay. I mordanted it. I don't know. I can't say it. <laughs> I put mordant. No, no. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I used a mordant. Yes. Oh, good, good, good. Now I got to remember to say that. When I used the mordant on this, I used tannin. And these okay. all had a mordant used on them. These all had a mordant. Oh, I love it. Okay. 
or you can say like APG. These are pre-mordant. These are post-mordant. <laughs> oh no! Okay, oh, no. I like this, guys. Oh man! I know you're not as excited as I am, but I'm very excited. Okay, so you know it doesn't take that much to get me excited. Adri said, I have so much inside information on Rosemary's prep, I'm going to be giggling the whole time. <laughs> well, she, she doesn't know she's going to have to end up being my assistant. Because she's going to go, Rosemary, didn't you, weren't you going to say blah, blah, blah? Oh, yeah, see, I forgot about that. <laughs> you want to come up here and conduct the thing? Because I already forgot what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> she can point to your supplies like Vanna. That's right. <laughs> I can have her hold the stuff. And yeah. Now, can you show the alum, please? And she can walk around with the alum. In her ballerina shoes. Well, at the very least, a tutu. I don't want her messing up her uh, her ankle that she's going to have to have replaced. Well, just make sure that you don't mess with her tutu. <laughs> hmm. No high heels. I oh, don't no. want you in high heels with your fake ankle. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I was sitting in a meeting today at my desk. And you know I have that giant screen, so I can't see out the window. And it's a big window. And all of a sudden, there's Wilson standing there staring at me. I was like, dude, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Poor Wilson. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> it looked like he was spraying for bugs. We were always complaining. I sent him a, I sent him a note. I said, are you the exterminator now? He said, no, I stained your, your fence I built over here. He says, and then I saw that you had some, <clears throat> like on the bottom of the of the brick when it rains a lot. I have to go out and wash that stupid, it'll get like a green tint to it. Oh, yeah. And he was out there spraying bleach on it. I was like, you seriously need a job, dude. He needs a life, man. I have not done a background check on Wilson. I might need to. Because <laughs> he scared me. <laughs> Gail already did that, Adria. She did a background check on Wilson. Oh, no, Carol. I'm never going back to that office again. I heard William fussing today. He was going, uh, Jack, um, I haven't seen everybody here at least three days. He said, if they don't start coming in there three days, then I'm going to start making them work the whole week at the office. And I was like, uh-oh. She did a backside check. Uh -uh. If they even say office, I'm like, oh, no. It's been, how long has it been for you? A couple of years already? March of 2020. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that'd be hard to go back. Especially when you don't like it. I know. But I have, I have the quality, the global quality manager. She said, I'll be coming across the pond on April the so-and-so if you're around. I'm like, yeah, well, if I'm around. <laughs> mm -mm. Tomorrow's Thursday, right? Today's Wednesday. I got my whole week all messed up. Hey, Linda. way in the other room. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
Hey, 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 Annie Main. Hey, 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 Adria. Hey, 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 Jean. Hey, Sherry. Those irritating quality people. They're always trying to get someone's business. I know, right? Hey, Lucy. Hey, Leslie. Hey, Elvis. Hey, 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 Gail. Hey, Allie. Hey, Nancy. Hey, Sally Fern and Ruth. And Carol, but she's here. And Ann, wherever you're hiding. And CJ, who's retired and probably going to bed now. <laughs> hey, 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 Carla. Hey, J Mac. Now she has time for all of her projects. And Brenda. That's right. I mean, she does a lot as it is. Now she can really. And APG, did she say hi? I didn't look up. I don't know. No, she just posted an Etsy link. That's what she does. <laughs> I think she's actually a bot. There you go. Yeah. She should rename herself. Oh, she said, hey. <laughs> hey, cat. <laughs> it's very subtle, but I like it. Just cat. Just cat. No, plain old cat. Not kitty cat. No, cat. Just cat. Cat. Alrighty. We can handle that. We have no problem with the cat. Gail said, when I retired, I thought I was going to have all this time to do what I want. I don't know where all the time went to. Yeah. You up in everybody's live. That's what it's doing. Hey, Yep, Lucero, Lucero, Lucero. Yeah, nice to see you. Do we know you by a different name? Are you are you newbie, or are you are you just a lurker that decided to say hello? Are you one of the guys up in the balcony? We like the balcony people. We like the balcony people. Hey, Lana, like Donna with the diamond painting. Oh, yeah. She's probably busy right now. She's got her hands on all the stuff. She can't She was it. supposed to be through by the weekend. Oh, <laughs> well, knowing her, she started a new project. She thought, oh, I can't be done. This is too much fun. Way too much fun. Lucero said, yep, you got it right the first time. Just uh -oh. hanging out, newbie. Yay! We like it. I wonder how come the Weather Channel has started telling me my forecast in Celsius. I'm not. Uh -oh. I don't care. APG likes the balcony. Looks down on all the little people. That's right. All right, anyway, we'll get back to work. Thanks for coming. Yes, thank you. Brenda says she works more now than when she worked. Taking care of two cranky old women is work. Oh, no. I guess it would be. I'll just take care of a cranky old man and dogs. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, I called my mom yesterday and I said, um, is there something going on at your apartments? Well, I don't think so. I said, well, do not answer the door for anybody. And she said, why? I said, well, because it just came across my phone that somebody came to your apartments and knocked on a man's door. And when he answered, they shot him in the head dead. Oh, my. And she said, oh, well, let me step out on the balcony and see if I see anything <laughs> out there. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Cat said, hi, I'm new. My cousin, Renee's at it again. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Renee, 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 Renee. She introduced me to the junk journals and all you nice people. I love your work, Miss Rosemary. <laughs> oh, thank Girl, you. Renee needs a spanking. Oh. Well, you know, she she's a, are we talking about the same Renee? Which Renee are we talking about? 
Renee's at it again. Oh, okay. Um, well, you know, she's kind of, she's a troublemaker because she goes and finds all this cool stuff. And then people have to go buy it to make the stuff. Yeah. Yep. Lucero said, I'm not, I'm just working on colored pencil pictures. Just listening to you ladies brings back nostalgic memories of my mom and her friends talking. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, you tell Renee Popo said she needs a spanking. Yeah. She's probably, well, no, she's just getting off a of spring break, right? Yep. Yeah, that's what they said, Carla, that he was quiet and he kept to himself. But then somebody else said they heard um, some arguing before. So he might have kept to himself there at the pepper tree manor apartments but apg said so lucero are you a youngin or what <laughs> <laughs> we have age qualifications here <laughs> you have to be 18 you have to be 18 <laughs> oh no <laughs> No, we we try to we try to um, be adults. Sometimes we we fall off the wagon, but we try to be good <laughs> until Susan walks us down the path of no return. I can't help it. It's like I'm the <laughs> like I'm the 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 trail guide. No. Pied Piper, more like it. Adrian said, speak for yourself. I do not try to be good here. <laughs> Did you ladies know, because I know a lot of y'all are into birds, especially Anne, but she's not here, that Peruvian owls always hunt in pairs? It's because they're Inca hoots. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. She sent me that the other day. And usually when she sends me something, I get it right away. I had to read that three times. And then I just started giggling. It's like, what? She wouldn't have sent it if it wasn't funny. How come I don't get it? <laughs> How come I don't get it? Don't. In cahoots. <laughs> you know, in cahoots. Y'all said that was a good one. I even got it. <laughs> yeah. Popo, did you give the answer to the joke? Yes. Because they're, <laughs> they're in cahoots. <laughs> That's like that other one. I forget which one it was. Everyone was waiting for the answer and you'd already said it. <laughs> what, which one was that? I can't remember now. In cahoots. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> when I have to start explaining my jokes. <laughs> That's when you have to stop telling them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's like I bought my daughter. This this man said I bought my daughter a handbag from Iraq, and she said thanks for the bag, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's J Mac? <laughs> hey, Shauna. I mean, Auntie Mean. <laughs> I got the wrong one. Oh my gosh! Three new people. Oh man, they're coming out of the word work. I love it. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Lurkers are saying, hey. And tonight that we're not really doing anything. Man. Maybe that's a trick. Don't do nothing and they come and watch. Thanks for the bag, Dad. <laughs> I knew you'd get that one. <laughs> I didn't know you'd be so slow on the other one. <laughs> oh, that was funny. So I contacted, well, I shouldn't say anything because I don't know if I'm, if 
I really going to get them? He said he's going to send them to me. Um, let me backtrack here. There is a company out there that is called, uh-oh, what is it called? I think it's called, no, I forget the name of it. It's either Jelly Elf or Elf Jelly. I don't remember. <laughs> it's Elf <whatever>. Jelly? Jelly? <laughs> And they make jelly plates. It's a new company. Oh, it's about a year old. They make jelly plates. Well, anyway, um, somebody had told me that they have a little setup because they're new. If you teach, um, they'll send you a few supplies so that you can, you know, if you like them, you can share it with your class. You know, if you do workshops or whatever it is you do. So I contacted them and gave them the information of the workshop. I mean, I knew I wouldn't get anything from that workshop, but I gave them the information of the workshop that I'm having next month. And that, you know, and I do some, do some in my own place. And then I also um, show stuff on, um, on YouTube. So they said, yeah, we'd like to do something with you you know how many how many um do you usually have in a workshop and i said well this particular one there's 20 but when i have it in my own place i usually don't have any more than 10 and so he says well let me get back to you so then he says well we have this proposition to make for you he says we have some um, some plates that, um, you know how when you get your, if, you, if you've got one, when you get your um, deli, jelly plate, it's got that, um, um, what do you call that? You know, that, that oh, transparency on the top and on the bottom. And uh, they made a batch where the transparency on the bottom part, they put it on before the plates were completely cool. And they're not stuck stuck but they don't come off like they should. He says they've taken them off and they're just fine, but they, they don't want to sell them that way. So he's going to send me a bunch of those so I can use it in my um, workshops. So you know how much those darn things cost. I've never been able to do a class with jelly plate here in the studio because who has that many plates, right? So I'm really excited to see if they follow through. And if I get them, that'll be really cool. Okay. So that one's that. APG said, oh, you get to test reject. Sounds cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shauna said that she just saw you were live and she was about to start a collage on canvas. Ooh. What kind? I mean, um, paper or fabric or caustic. What kind of collages? Do you paint do? chips or paint chips. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll be good too. <laughs> it's okay, Nancy. You're not dumb. What? <laughs> she needed your affirmation that she wasn't dumb. No. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. I hope all you nosy people out there that can't stay out of other people's business <laughs> feel better. <laughs> I'm not talking to nobody in the chat room. I'm talking to people in general in the uh -oh. world. Oh, uh oh, oh, that's that's really bad. Now she's talking about the whole world. Okay, we're in trouble now. All right, Carol. Good night. Thanks uh -oh. for coming. Chased her away. She's going all the way back to England. Her collage is mainly book pages and gel prints. Cool. Oh, I like that. I want to get into larger pieces because you know, everything I do is no, no bigger than, you know, this. <laughs> well, I take that back. I do have at the house. Okay. Let me backtrack. Before I was into any of this stuff. Hang on. Hang on. Uh -huh. Lullaby <laughs> and good night with thy mother's sweet 
Miss Lilies. Um, oh, and some Uber Eats paper bags. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Cool. That would be all the different types. See, I don't Uber it, so I don't have any of that to play with. I wish I did. I want to, yeah, I need, I need more, um, I need to get back into my roots of trash. I don't use trash as much as I used to. That was the fun days. The good old days. My husband really got into it. He started collecting more trash than I did. He goes, oh, look, this would look really cool if you did this and this. And I go, oh my gosh, I don't have any more room for all this trash. At first, he didn't know what the heck I was doing. And then he was like facilitating me too much. Adria said, I need more trash is only something we can say in this world. That's right. Carla is in Minnesota, America. She calls it Minnesota. <laughs> Oh, Linda says Panera has nice paper bags. Mm. Well, that's because they have all that deli paper and they had the bakery and they had to wrap their sandwiches. And then they had those little doilies that they set their soup on and they have all that stuff. And you think you're paying for that sandwich. You're paying for the cool trash. You might as well use it if you're paying for it. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see it. Man, that paint goes a long way, that's for sure. Well, I don't see any I don't see any roofs I can do on here. I don't really see anywhere I can put any red. On this one, maybe, maybe, maybe. So anyway, I used to make really big image transfers. I've got several of them hanging in my house. And then I would make these big, giant collages. Um, I would take a photograph that I've taken, and then I would enlarge it, but it would have to be in, like, you know, 40 different pieces to fill up the board I was putting it on. And then I would print those out. And then glue them all on onto the large surface. That was fun. But there's no way I could do that with you guys. Because <laughs> this would be one piece of paper. And <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not set up so that you could watch me do that. But that's a lot of fun. I enjoy that a lot. Oh, no. What? Lucy went to the Gel Elf site. And their 8x10 plate is $227. And a five by seven is two hundred and eleven dollars, and they are much cheaper on Amazon and Tamu. Oh, I don't know. I didn't get quoted any prices because he's just mailing them to me. Two hundred. That doesn't sound right. Okay, I got these. APG said that her friend brought her a piece of paper trash from Germany a few years ago. Bless her heart. <laughs> Shauna said her neighbors went to Germany over Christmas and brought her back a book from there. It's all in the Fracture script and is amazing. Ooh. And all you got, APG, was some trash. Yeah, I'll teach you. Teach 
find better <laughs> friends than you got. Better friends. Bunch of trashy friends. Oh, trashy friends. And can't even bring you a whole book. Man. Would you pick that off your shoe in the airport? Yeah, they probably live in Texas with you, too. Hey. <laughs> I knew that would wake you up. <laughs> I know she won't be on my side for very long. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Ooh, I had me a big old blooming onion on Sunday. Those are good. Oh, man. Have you made I, your own before? No, I haven't, but I had a free appetizer mm -hmm. for my birthday. And a blooming onion for two women is too much. No, it's not. Yeah, it is whenever they have good rolls and butter and <laughs> then a salad and a steak and baked potato. And oh, well, like, I just get the, that's, I use that as my meal. Oh, no. Yeah. Because I know I can't eat anything else. I mean, I, I want to eat the whole thing, so I, I have no room for anything else. I haven't gotten my birthday present yet, Linda, because I won't make a decision. Oh, my goodness. But, um... When I got up, there was a hot, we're talking about hadn't been out of the oven 30 minutes, um, lemon and blueberry coffee cake sitting in front of the coffee pot, fresh pot of coffee. Oh, I would too, Gail, if I didn't have something behind it. I think I'll take a picture tomorrow of my my big pieces and show it to you guys. Your big pieces of what? Never mind. You said you didn't want to hear it. You gave I did not say I didn't want to hear anything. No, you well, you you, you lullaby yourself to sleep so you wouldn't have to listen. So you missed out. I'm sorry. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I'm gonna be here tomorrow, so I'm gonna find out anyway. <laughs> So oh, hey. APG said her trash. <laughs> <laughs> Dale eats only Teddy biscuits and hard boiled eggs. What? I guess for breakfast. Or maybe when she goes out to eat. Oh, I don't know. I am not eating no hard boiled eggs. I eat the white and I give the the yolk balls to the dog. A teddy biscuit sounds to me like a teddy teddy gram or whatever they call those. But she's down under. Dale's in Australia over there with, with Shonda. Who knows what they're eating? It's like it's all I like. Oh, and bread and mayonnaise. They have mayonnaise in Australia? Oh, my goodness. They have eggs, don't they? Well, that doesn't mean they have mayonnaise. <laughs> well, they couldn't have mayonnaise if they didn't have eggs. So. You can make your own mayonnaise. I know. My grandmother used to make it. Okay. We're getting quite a few of these done. Hello. Shauna said, of course we have mayonnaise. <laughs> He just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. <laughs> I think that's right, APG. Oh, Dale said since she had chemo, she hates food. Oh. Shauna says Vegemite, yum. I heard Vegemite was kind of suspect. It's, it's out there with the camp of whether or not you like spam. Hey, Janice. It's kind of like that. You got the people that really like it and people that can't stand it. 
I went through a period of um, forgetting that spam was even an item. And now? And then I told Betty not too long ago, I said, will you order some spam when you order groceries? Put it on the list. <laughs> and now? And now we like fried spam sandwiches. Oh, my gosh. Vegemite is salty. People think it's chocolate and put too much and put far too much on toast. <sighs> It's salty. Kind of like kitchen bouquet. <laughs> you think it's going to be tasty. <laughs> hey, if you used it right, it is. You just and then when your mom ain't your... looking, you take a swig out of that bottle. You just can't put it on your journals. You'll be okay. It's not awful. Dale. Deli. <laughs> Allie has never had spam. Good. Vegemite and Marmite taste like salty, oily hummus. Ew. No, thank you. And I like hummus. But add that other texture to it. Ooh. Ooh. No, APG. I hate the bouquet. She only likes it on her journal pages. That's right. Vegemite has gluten in it, and Shauna couldn't eat it for years until they brought out a gluten-free version. Now she has it every week. Wow. Kitchen Bouquet is a brown, <laughs> nasty liquid in a brown <laughs> bottle. And you put like, like you put it on the end of a paintbrush and you just flick it into your food <laughs> to make it turn brown. So it's actually like brown food coloring. Oh, that isn't quite an accurate way. Yes, you know, to make her gravy brown. Of its use, yes. It's a... Uh... It's an additive for gravy and soups and sauces and all that kind of good stuff. Deli said her mom made pressed tongue. Tongue's good. What's pressed tongue? I don't know. Tongue tacos are good. Lingua. C. No tongue taco. Oh, if you if you had one and didn't know what it was, you'd love it. I don't want a French kiss no taco. <laughs> That's a cow. Who I hate liquid smoke, Carla. <laughs> APG says, I press my tongue to my lips and blow. <laughs> <laughs> Shauna's grand made tongue. She used to like it, but would never eat it now. Yes, huh. tongue of a cow, Allie. You make tacos out of it. It's called lingua. You throw that puppy in a pressure cooker. Yeah. And then you shred it up. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Now that looks pretty. Thank you. Or you could eat from the other end <laughs> and have some menudo or some three bed dookie tube tacos. <laughs> <laughs> or you have oxtail soup. I from love oxtail. Well, there you go. So you don't mow the other end, do you? No pickles, pig's feet. No. Adria says she's very adventurous eater, but tongue, nope. <laughs> Dale wants to, Deli wants to know if those are Russian farmhouses. Uh, I don't know. They look Lithuanian. <laughs> Get out of here, Deli. 
<laughs> I am Lithuanian. <laughs> there we rest our case. I am Lithuanian. My grandpa came to New York from Lithuania. So there. So there. And it's never been the same here since. It's all grandpa's fault. Man, oh, it's like he's done. Well, there's really no. Linda said, I'm so glad we're having this conversation now. I don't want a late night snack that I don't need. <laughs> Odell's partner's Lithuanian. Yes, Dale, my last name is Jalinska. Shauna, the only thing I really know about Lithuania is the hunt for Red October. <laughs> I know, Adria, I bet Deli does live in a house made of pom-poms. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. When I was growing up, nobody even knew what a Lithuania was. Well, let's put it this way. You wouldn't even know if you weren't. Me and the Ukrainian president have the same last name, but he spells his name wrong. <laughs> he only lives there. <laughs> I know, but he spells his name with a Y. Mine's with an E. Oh, well. going to have a half moon. Are you ready for the eclipse? I'm excited. I'm ready. Oh, 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 oh. This Indian lady today, I forget which tribe she's from. She said, people don't understand that you need to stay in the house during the eclipse because when the sun is being overpowered by the moon is when it's fighting its hardest and that is when it's the hottest and you should be in the house praying so just saying <laughs> okay so if you're fair skinned like Allie I bet Allie's white fair skinned stay in the house Well, APG, she's not white because she hangs out in a in a convertible. Uh oh. And you're always out in the yard. Well, she's fake white. Fake. Your partner no, writes she... books. Richard, I don't know how to say that. Brenda says tongue. Nope. Spam only if I'm starving. Ate Vegemite when we shopped in the commissary, and it was salty. I can tell, Allie. Oh, gosh. Lucy said they have some indigenous people in her area trying to help a baby whale get back to the open ocean to join its pod. Aww. APG don't have her rag top anymore. She sold it for her new truck. Have you got your truck yet? Brenda's going to watch it through her welding helmet. <laughs> I got my Eclipse glasses. I'm ready. But what usually happens on total eclipses is because the temperature changes so quickly you get this cloud cover 
and uh, you know sometimes you miss the whole thing because clouds come rushing in so we'll see what happens Next. Oh, there's no place to put anything on that one. I keep forgetting. And we'll do this little plant here. Wow, I didn't even have to refill that little that little bit of paint was enough for all of these. Oopsie doopsie. Yay! Okay. I didn't do there wasn't anything to paint on these particular ones. Oh, this one there is. How did I miss that one? <clears throat> okay, is Delhi still here? Hello, 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 Miss Delhi. I think we scared her with the tongue. Something about whole chunk scared her off, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't know what ho chunk is. <laughs> okay, Deli's here. So, is is this is this him? Is that is that your your lover boy? <laughs> <sighs> Allie, your uncle married a ho chunk. Okay, that's that's Dale's that's Dale's honey. He's an author. Of what? Of books. What kind of books? Well, his books are on Amazon.com and you can follow him. He spent the first sixty years of his life preparing to be a fiction writer and now he writes full time. Oh, a fiction writer. Okay. That's he what was I was born to know. in Corn, South Australia. Very cool. He has his most popular book is One Summer in Gozo. An Artful Remedy. Devious. 2050 A Warning. You can follow him on Amazon. You know which one Sis is going to read. Okay. These, I don't think I could do anything. Adrian said that can't be your love because he ain't wearing no pom poms. <laughs> you only are seen from the waist up, my dear. <laughs> His name is Richard Samulus. Well, I'm happy the way these came out. So now, oh, in the next couple of coming days, I'll get these done. And these will go be part of the signatures. Some of them, obviously, I'll be cutting out. And they'll be like little cards or something. There'll be something, something. I don't know what yet. See, these 
these pictures here are these in black and white. Because I was trying to let me find that one. I was trying to set the mood. My mommy too, Carla. Uh, Carla. Well, I guess I didn't print that particular one, <laughs> but you get the idea. See, they look they have a similar look to them. Aw, Adri is following Mr. Deli on Amazon. Aw. Now he's going to have all these crazy junk journal ladies following him. Where did these ladies come from? He's going to have to write a story about the some journal he finds and all the backstory to the journal. There you go, Carla. My my um my great grandpa. There's a book. He's in it, and, and he's half Indian, and they asked him, they said, what tribe are you from? And he said, the meanest one. <laughs> <laughs> I have Ute in me. I have Ute, 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 Ute. Ute me, Ute, Ute me, Ute in me. <laughs> you tin me. You tin me. That's what you what? said. In me. Yeah, you in me. <laughs> okay, so. Well, that is that is great to know. I would really like one day to have some Navajo in me. <laughs> Hola, Tinky. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Made me drop my stuff. <laughs> oh, God. How did I compose myself? <laughs> <laughs> breathe, Rosemary. <Just> breathe. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> I got her around here somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> Oh, where's my other stuff? For those of you that here weren't here earlier, I'm going to show you what we're doing next month. A few of these little, few of little pieces we're going to be playing with. There'll be more, but this is just all I have right now. Delhi said a ute is a car in Australia. Really? A truck. A truck, even. Wow. Let me get some of these to add some color to the front. <laughs> add some color. So where do I do that? Oh, Rosemary. Oh, okay. So here. Just to give you an idea of what we're doing. <clears throat> so we're going to do what did we decide we were going to call this anyway we had so many cool ideas I don't know if we decided um 
already said a name. Are you frozen? Hello? Move, Rosemary. Shop your stash journal. Where'd she go? You don't recognize what? Adria? The journal she just showed? Uh oh. No, no bad weather. I certainly don't know where she is. Oh, no, that's the journal that she's going to do next month. Linda said, shop your stash journal. Yeah, don't forget to thumb up. She's right there, Gail. You don't see her? You don't see Sophie? Hello, lady. Okay. Internet went out. <laughs> no Sophie, no Rosemary. <laughs> they couldn't well, see Sophie while you were gone. Really? Yum, cabbage rolls for dinner. Mmm, I love that. Those are from Germany. Wow. She's making a lemon icebox pie, Carla. Where's my drink? Where's my I can't believe y'all couldn't see Sophie. I don't see Sophie. You see her now? No. I don't even, I don't see anything except a big round white ball that shows up when you have no pictures. Well, I have a picture. Well, we don't. <laughs> oh, she's gone. She'll be back in a second. Anyway, this is what we're doing, guys, for next month. Um, the insides aren't done yet, obviously. But if you were around for the mugshot one, the construction is going to be very similar. You see her now? Uh, just your logo. Oh, okay. Well, my yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah. I see the, you know, the picture of your little puppy dog on your regular logo, but not a live picture. Anyway, so this is what we'll be doing. And, um... If you want further clarification before we add, before I actually get it done, just go um, to my videos and type in mugshot and you will see the whole configuration completed with a different topic. Anyway, so that's what we'll be doing. <sighs> Did you try and put her on again? No, they saw her. Oh. She's right there. Yeah. I thought you were trying to show her live. No. Never mind. Never mind. I was mistook. Okay. okay. 
What do you guys want to know for the next 10 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What kind, of, what kind of trouble can we get in in 10 minutes? Oh, a lot, I'm sure. And, you know, if you guys don't want to use that metal part that's in there, this would make a really cool cover, too. It's a little bigger, but you could cut it down a little bit. That would make a cool cover. Good night, APG. Gail wants to know what is life, Rosemary. What is what? Life. What is life? <laughs> Look up Bell Mill. <laughs> Leslie's partial to the metal bit. I like the metal, too. What is life? Hmm. I think too many of us wait too long to live our life. That's what life is. Oh, she made the chalkboard books. Did you did you like how they come out, Lucy? I don't see nobody named Bell Mill. Geneva said hello and goodbye. Man. It's quickie people. In and out. Gone. Huh. Are you going to? Okay. Great. Um. If you can't get a hold of, um, you know, all the pieces parts that we used on, on those, let me know. I'll give you the, Geneva! oh my gosh, I'll give you the link, um, where I got them. And if they cost, if they cost less to mail from here, let me know and I can mail them to you or I'll, or we'll figure out which way is cheaper. If you buy them, um direct sometimes the stuff's cheaper if you buy them here and still pay for postage um to canada so let me know because she's going to make 500 of them so she probably needs to start now <laughs> well i can't find nobody named bell mill so i'm going to miss out on that uh oh. Who was it supposed to I mean who suggested that and why? I think Allie did. Oh, okay. She said look up B E L M I L L and I can't find anything. She says Google it. I guess you did. Google it. That's what she said. Scrap Paper Circus makes cool books. Oh, oh, she's not on YouTube. Yeah, she said Google. Oh, cool. She's too colorful for me. Uh-oh. It's too circusy. It's too it's too it's primary colors. Oh yeah, very circusy. Looks like she's made a Jacob's Ladder. Oh, no. Pinky <laughs> wants to know about the other author. Dell's Del's author. Oh, Dell's author. His name is... Um, his name is Richard. And his last name is S-A-M-U-L-I-S. -S. Thank you, Deneva. Richard Samulis. Now she wants to know why you were talking about him. Because that's um that's Deli over here, Miss Pom Pom. That's her love. That's her partner. That's her pom pom. Her pom pom. <laughs> Lucy her said, pom -pom. yes, she does make cool books. I still want to do the um um what are those called? The board books? Yep. You you show me the link too. I want to make a couple of those. Those are man, she is on a roll. You know, she cannot do one of those a day. She I bet you anything. She made them all in advance and she's just, you know, letting them out each day. That's a lot of work to be done in one day. 
she'd like to have to have no life at all. It's her birthday today. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, not to care, but it just came up on my thing. Oh, no, I think I get too confused now. Dale and Gail. Gail is now in into Dale's um, book. Uh, well, um, her pom-poms books. Dale. Yeah. 2050. A warning. <laughs> oh, no. 2050. A warning. That's one of Richard's books. Yeah, that's what Gail was talking about. Yeah. So she has a Richard too. Yeah. Man, there's too many. That's all I can say. Too many. Too this many. Looks, this looks kind of cute with all these in there. It does look cute. Deneva said it looks nice. Whoa. That's not glued inside yet. <laughs> Smell out. Hello. That's right, Gail. I was going to say it, but I have to keep it. I can't go down that trail. <laughs> You've worn out that trail. What are you talking about? <laughs> there you go, Pinky. I just put it in the chat, or Rosemary put it in the chat. <laughs> it almost looks like what you put your mail in. Yeah, it does, huh? Yeah, it could be a lot of... I 101 guess. things to do with an air vent. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> <laughs> I still didn't come up with... You guys had too many good names for this. I can't decide on what to name it. Shop your stash, Kaboom. Shop your stash. <laughs> That was Linda. You know, she won the Farm Fresh Caboodle name. Oh, that's right. Man, you don't forget much, do you? I try not to. <laughs> Only what you want to, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Very selective. <sighs> Junk drawer. There you go. Richard is his name, Pinky. Junk drawer. There you go. Yeah. Tonight, Adria. Tonight. Right now. <laughs> At the beginning of the stream. Yeah. Janice said under the stairs. <laughs> oh, yeah. That it is. Did I, have I heard from Janice today? A little bit. Oh, okay. I didn't hear her name. Hi, Janice. You might have done the root and toot and cowgirl caboodle. Linda, but you also came up with that little corny farm fresh stuff. <laughs> you know that corny thing, Linda? <laughs> you know, you know that corny thing you did. Oh my goodness. There you go, Lucy. Vent your stash. Vent your, oh, that's clever. That's clever, Lucy. I must admit. Venture stash. I'm liking that. Yeah, don't forget, Linda. You did it. <laughs> Jenna says she's sorry she slept like the dead after coming home today. She's still tired. Aw. Well, enjoy your sleep. Enjoy your sleep. Me too, Allie. There you go. Invent your stash. Reinvent. <gasps> okay, see? Between all three of us, we can title. I like reinvent your stash. Hello. Tamar's back. <laughs> Tamar. <laughs> of course she is. It's one minute till we leave. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. That's right. That's right, Gail. That's a winner. Yes, tomorrow. This is next month's caboodle. It's called Reinvent Your Stash. That's right. That's right. Oh, 
I knew if I asked you guys again, he'd come up with it. Richard <sighs> said he loves your aesthetic. Oh, thank you, thank you. He knows a trashy lady when he sees one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ow. Are you going to hang out with those trashy American women again? <laughs> there you go, Janice. Put it in chat. Reinvent your stash. That's right. That is it. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, ladies. I must tell you, I'm exhausted and relieved. You animal lovers know the toll it takes when you think you're going to have to put an animal down. So I was very stressed, but I'm very relieved. Everything is A-OK. -okay. And at least I've got something planned for next month, which I was worried I was going to have another month that I didn't have anything planned, which we got it planned. And I have a lot of my work done on my other um, two projects that I have. So same have time, Dale, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I don't know what time that is down under. Yeah. Two hours ago for you. Yeah. Two hours ago. <laughs> Whenever that was. <laughs> Every Wednesday and Thursday, two hours ago. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> All right, guys. You guys take care, and um, we will see you tomorrow. I'm glad I got to see you clearly all night. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night.